If you guys are looking for the absolute cheapest coins on the internet right now, head on over to my sponsor, AO. EAH.com. They got the cheapest coins on the market. You can get a million for under 50 bucks. Save that money. Make sure to always use code Poodle at checkout to get your additional 3% off. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm be going over the best, most feared part two or at least players to choose. Now, if you guys know what I'm talking about, ton of free players, about nine or you know, eight, nine, ten, give or take, depending on how we interpret the uh the missions tab and everything. About eight to ten free 90 over players you can get. Now, here's the here's the dilemma. Some of them were specifically only for part two, which is why I'm making this video because not all these free players, like you can't take up, you, if you open up the part two pack, you're going to open it looking at the old rankings and realize, wait, these are all different players, right? So these rankings are going to be for part two only packs. Now here's the other thing. Do the old packs that didn't specify a release, do those get updated now with part two players, right? Like some of the first packs you could get from the promo stated most feared 90 overall NCAT, right? It didn't say release one, two or three. So I wonder if you save those packs till now, would they get updated? My, my assumption is maybe not, but who knows, right? Because it wasn't specified. But if it is, there you go. You can go ahead and take these rankings, combine with my old rankings, and kind of get an idea. Like, if I put, let's say, this guy first and this guy first in rank one and two, compare those guys yourself, right? And realize who's better of the two, and then adjust your rankings that way. But I'm going to be ranking the release two players. You can always go check my release one players in case you want to kind of coincide them together, right? If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Turn that on bell. Give this video a big thumbs up, as always, guys. And, of course... You guys need coins to pick up any of these 90 overall players. If you guys don't have all free ones, make sure to down below to my sponsor and use code Poodle at checkout, guys. Super cheap coins. Probably the cheapest on the internet, especially if you use my code. But let's get into the rankings. So we're going to rank them out of six, right? There's eight total for the new one, for the new uh, the new release. But I don't genuinely think that you could use all eight of them. I think some of them are garbage. So I'm going to go over the ones that I really think that are like, okay, these are the guys. These are the ones that you're going to want on your team, right? So let's filter out my most feared. Then we're going to filter out by, of course, 90 overall as well and make this a bit easier because you guys do know sometimes you type in a name and there's a lot of people with that name in the NFL and it just gets, it gets annoying. So, most feared release, part two, 90 overalls ranked. Coming in at number six, right? Number six is going to be Brandon Cooks. Now, the thing with Brandon Cooks, guys, my only problem with him is that he doesn't have the best route running. But why is he going to make this list? It's because he's a depth position. Depth positions always hold some kind of like seniority on list because... Let's say you have you pick up the new Brandon Marshall, right, with all your coins, and then you have no coins. Then you have, like, some Sammy Watkins 90 left over, right? And now you have no third receiver, right, because you sold all these players to get your card. You get Brandon Cooks, and you can go ahead and just slot him at wide receiver three or four. Now, here's my problem. No route running thresholds, but powered up, he will get the catch into traffic above 90. He will have 92 speed. He has 90 agility. He'll probably 90 to change of direction, guys. He'll be a great, like, RPO, bubble screen, wide receiver screen, slant drag, like one of those guys that can just catch the ball and do damage in space, right? I don't think he's the best option. I personally probably wouldn't even take him. But I know there's people like that, right? Where like you want to, you need 600k for the new Brandon Marshall, right? You're a Giants fan, he goes in your theme team. You're a Bears fan, he goes in your theme team. You're a Dolphins fan, right? And you spend all your coins, but to get him, you have to sell two of your wide receivers and one of your linemen, right? And you're like, damn, like I, I'm starting like a base elite wide receiver at my three spot. Pick him up, throw him right in. You're back. You're back to pretty much being a functioning offense, right? That's just my personal opinion. Uh, that's my. That's option six, right? So you really have to get down this list. Now remember, don't take my list as gospel or you know Bible, as they say. Because here's the thing, I may put a guy who's one through five, and you have all those positions with Nats already. So what you do is you come down my list. You're like, okay, can't use the one guy, can't use the two guy. You get to my six guy. Like that's the best guy on the list for me, right? That's important. Number five is going to be Eric Rowe, wherever he is. Eric Rowe is not is nowhere to be found. Right, so next we have Eric Rowe coming in number five. Now the reason Eric Rowe is going to be number five is specifically because he does not get the zone threshold or the highest hit power. So I cannot if he had gotten the 90 zone right, he probably would have been a little bit higher. But he does not get that. But he gets 90 speed right, which is 91 powered up with 93 excel. Six foot one. He gets 90 man coverage, which man is really important, and you know a man scheme slash a man blitz scheme with the safety. And then of course the zone does get to an 89 with a strat card that can get to 90. Now the hit power is super low. But he's going to get the zone threshold, which is always important because a lot of people don't get that. I I really don't think him or Cooks are that great of an option, right? That's why they're six and five. But there are people who may not have a safety, right? Like you just sold Sean Taylor, or you just sold this guy, you never got Cam Chancellor up. I could I could see scenarios in which you don't have a safety. But again, I don't really advertise Row either. Joel Batonio, here's where it starts to get good. I really like Joel Batonio a lot. I personally think taking a lineman is important. I think a lineman is such an important free pick all the time because here's the thing. Linemen, I always give this example, right? Linemen are expensive. They're expensive. 
you need five of them to really see a difference sometimes, right? And the worst part is, is that sometimes you don't even see a difference, right? You can pick up 599 over alignment and still get insta sacked by this nickel 335 blitz. You can still, all that can happen, right? So you're like, some, you, I don't know if you guys have ever been there. I know I have. You, you go into Madden, right? You save up a million coins. You're like, hmm, what should I buy with it? And you're like, you know what? I'm going to go buy a lineman. You buy Larry Allen. And you're like, huh, my other line looks bad. You end up spending all a million coins on straight five linemen. You feel like a beast. You're like, I'm going to get a good running back. So you come out like a Dalvin Cook, you know, master. You come out, you're like, I'm going to run the ball. I'm going to run the rock. You come out, you get insta block shattered like five times. You get sacked and you're like, this did nothing. I'm going back to passing. Like, and then you go to pass and you're getting sacked pretty easily. Like, wow, line doesn't matter. You come out, what you do, you sell your lineman, you go back to your nat ones, right? Difference is, if you have all 60 overall alignment, you're gonna get you're, it's gonna be bad. Like it gets bad. But if you have all 99, it kind of seems like kind of like sometimes in 2K with a three-point rating, like there's a certain threshold to where it kind of all feels the same. And like I would say, once you're above 90 overall thresholds for alignment, the overall increases don't really change too much in terms of how much they actually perform. That so, in my opinion, guys, and taking that lineman is just important. Why spend 250k? Here, here you go. You take a nat one on a bunch of players, you probably don't even like that much. Or you take a nat Joe Batonio, you power him up. He's going to help you run the ball. He's going to help you pass the ball. And it doesn't cost you coins. And he sits there for a, a few months, right? And then, of course, you can always move him over to right guard. You can move him to center. You can move him around as much, as much as you have to to really compete. But I really like him. Next, we have Joey Bosa. Now, the only reason Joey Bosa is going to be up here is because he gets the... He's always been this. This has been Bosa's cards for the last few years. He's really fast with great, with great finesse move, right? That's always been Bosa, but he can't block shit. Now, again, I don't like taking a guy who can't block shit. But the thing with him is... If you, like if you're like again if you're taking Nats your team's not that good right so I have to imagine you can't even afford guys that are all 90 90 threshold guys right so what could be really helpful in a budget squad or no money spent team it's gonna be 86 speed 89 excel powered up with 92 finesse move right that's gonna be really good 89 play rec 88 power move he's gonna be a super budgety like I'm gonna get to the quarterback kind of guy right now he won't be a guy that you can go ahead and stop the run with but he's not that linebacker and you know what he's supposed to do. He's gonna be a really good finesse move guy. And Joey Bosa typically is like really good. Like he makes he makes plays on defense when it comes to being a pass rusher. He'll get 90 impact blocking as well. He gets above 91 pursuit. That's really good as well. 85 hit power. I think he's good. I really like the Bosa card. Again, I think these next two guys are my personal favorites, but that's just me. Uh, it really just depends on what people think and agree with with these cards. Now, I think Brandon Graham's number two. Now, I almost put him at number one, but I talked myself out of it. Why do I like Brandon Graham? I always stress the importance of having double 90 stats on certain stats, right? For when it comes to ends, I like double 90 block shit and power move. He's going to be the only guy out of this entire drop that's going to get his key stats at above 90, right? Bosa only got finesse move, but didn't get block shit. Betonio only got some things close to 90, not all of them. Cook's got nothing 90 as far as route running. Rowe only got man 90, not zone. Um, Bosa, like I said, only got finesse move. Graham's the first guy here that's going to get 90 blocks and 90 power moves. So he's going to be an elite run stuffer, an elite pass rusher, and he's going to have an 82 speed, 90 excel. And people may say he's not, not as fast, but he's only three speed less than Bosa and significantly better at run stuffing and should be very similar in pass rushing. And here's the thing with him, right? If you really, really don't like the speed off end as the year progresses, put him into defense tackle. Well, people make the argument, right? People want faster ends, right? People have, there's so many fast ends in the game, right? If you're, if you're here trying to get one of these 90 overalls, if you're trying to get a 90 over because you plan on starting him if you can start one of these guys odds are your team isn't that great right is that, that that's the take i'm taking so brandon graham will be useful now if you have a team with like the, let's say you know not yet but julius peppers lawrence taylor all these guys right you don't even care about any of these 90s because your team's that good if you really care about these 90s and are genuinely trying to start these players brandon graham should be a useful player you can always move to defensive tackle with the blocks and the power move and slower speed which would be really fast at dt right number one Strictly because he completes a few of the boxes. He misses some boxes that I prefer to hit, but it, it, it's 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 a big name. It's good stats. It's depth. Marshawn Lattimore is going to be my number one overall player. And again, he typically is when he gets a free card. And here's the reason why: he's six feet tall, 192, so he gets the height that you like. He gets 92 speed, 92 excel, powered up and chemmed up, which means that he'll be one of the top speed corners in the game as a free card. He'll get 90 agility. He'll get 90 jumping. He'll only get 89 man, 88 zone. But with the strategy card, you can get those up to 90, 90, 90 if you really chose to. And of course, he has 70 catching, 90 jumping, like 90 change of direction. He's very well-rounded, and he's a cornerback. So again, he could play cornerback one, two, three, four, or five. He could be on your team almost all year. There's a good use. There's a good reason to get a free card that you can keep in your lineup for a while, right? So you don't, you know, you hate getting like. Let's say they give you a 90 overall, most of your quarterback free, right? You take him, and in about a week or two, you upgrade him. It's like, yeah, okay, that was fun. That was a waste of my time. This card doesn't feel like a waste of time. But guys, it is about it for my rankings. Hopefully, you did enjoy today's video. If you're into the channel, hit that subscribe button. Turn that notification bell. Give this video a big thumbs up, as always. And of course, comment down below. And use code Poodle at checkout if you need any coins. Add my sponsor down below. Thank you for watching. I'm out. Peace.